In his groundbreaking book, The Lucky Years, Dr. David Agus gives us a smart and sensible look at the latest medical breakthroughs, including some enlightening new information on cancer treatments. Please welcome Dr. David Agus. Hi. Doctor, it's nice to have you here. So, talk about some of these breakthroughs. Like, what can we do to prevent cancer? It's easy. I mean, there are several things to do. I'm going to tell you about three of them that will okay. reduce cancer by 60%. Okay. And those are dramatic numbers. The first is there's a pill a day that if you take it, reduces not the incidence, but the death rate of cancer by 30%. What is that? This pill is 2,433 years old. This pill is $3 a year. It's called a baby aspirin. No. Hippocrates said you take the bark of the willow tree and chew it, pain and fever go away. And by reducing inflammation, a baby aspirin a day over the age of 40 has a dramatic effect on the death rate of cancer. Wow. I thought That's that was easy just one. a heart thing. But no, there's data on heart disease, but the cancer data are dramatic in hundreds of thousands of people. Incredible. That's the amazing. second is, is in England in the 1950s, there were 26,000 workers in the British Transit Authority. Half were the bus drivers that drove the bus, mm -hmm. and half the ticket, picker, ticket takers that walked up and down. They weighed the same, smoked the same, lived in the same place. Dramatically lower cancer and heart disease in the ticket takers. But we've become a society of bus drivers. We sit all day. Right. So movement over time equals health. You know, the richer you are in our country, the more bathrooms in your house. So you don't have to walk room to room to go to the bathroom. Right. The more important you are at a company, the closer your parking space is to your desk. So we were designed to move. So just walking makes you live longer and reduces cancer. Wow. That's amazing. What's the third? The third is diet. And mm. so it's being lean body mass, and most importantly, it's eating what we call a Mediterranean diet. So it's fruits, vegetables, fish, chicken, meat, everything in moderation. You know, Grandma was right when she said, eat things in moderation. It's eat your meals the same time every day and nothing in between. Those three ring things, and you couple that with don't smoke. Right. Right, don't go out and get sunburn. And you can reduce cancer pretty dramatically with those three simple things. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Amazing. Well, we have to take a commercial break. We're going to have more cancer breakthroughs with Dr. David Agus when we return. Stick around. We're back with Dr. David Agus. He's giving us a lot of uh, important breakthroughs on cancer. And, and, uh, and so what else can you tell us? What are some of the breakthroughs we've been hearing about uh, with certain cancers and, and what, what they affect? So a year and a half ago, President Jimmy Carter was a hero. He's a hero for being transparent with his history and saying, mm -hmm. I have melanoma skin cancer that went to the brain. And so that was literally a death sentence a year before. Right. But he was given a drug that blocks the don't eat me signal on his cancer. Every cancer cell has a don't eat me signal so the immune system doesn't recognize it. Wow. So he got this drug, and just a month and a half ago, he announced, I'm cancer-free and no longer on treatment. Wow, that is incredible. And, so, and is that available to everyone? It's yes. available to everyone. So these drugs are on the market. They work in certain types of lung cancer. They work in kidney cancer. They work in melanoma. And literally every week, we're learning how to use them in other cancers. So it's very exciting unleashing your own immune system to attack cancer. Wow. Well, the other big breakthrough is what we call targeted therapy, is now, Literally overnight, we can sequence the DNA of a cancer and identify the on and the off switches. And there are dozens of drugs that can target an individual on and off switch. You know, in the 1800s in France, they called cancer by body part, brain, lung, prostate. Well, that goes out the window. Right. Let's hit the on switch and treat your cancer as an individual, not as a body part. Wow. You know, we need to learn from the outliers, right? There are lots of ways we can learn about cancer. There's an amazing story I'm going to tell you about elephants. Okay. So it turns out, don't give me a weird look. No, it's an we're elephant. I'm, I'm, we're, that's I'm, just his face. No, that's me sitting down. Like, I'm, I'm settled in. I'm, I'm, so, I'm still reeling from the aspirin story. These guys are 40 times bigger than you or I. They're 50 times bigger than you. Yeah. And they don't get cancer. So they have 40 times more cell and no cancer. Right. Well, it turns out they couldn't get cancer from evolution because the, we the women give birth into their late 60s. Wow. The male protects the herd in the day he dies. Whereas by the time you and I turn 30, you know, evolution doesn't need us anymore. Right. Right, we just take up food and housing. So we have a gene, one copy, you and I, that corrects DNA called P53. They evolve 20 copies. Wow. So they don't get cancer. So e elephants in Asia, North America, everywhere have this because in evolution they said, we have to live long. So we can learn from the outliers. Right. We have to learn now things from 
like elephants and how to do things better. And they also hardly ever smoke. <laughs> That's true. That's true. So. But they're in the sun all day and they don't wear sunscreen. So. Uh -huh. mm, you got us there. Uh -huh. You got us there. And they don't go to those tanning beds either, do they? That's true. Yeah. Uh, anyway, this is really great information. I want to thank you so much for sharing Amazing. all of this with us. For more information on the latest cancer breakthroughs, uh, pick up a copy of Dr.